In today's episode of Insane Craft, we used the last infinity stone and used it to create the head collector axe, which has the power to take players' heads, allow us to wear them, and get some pretty awesome powers from doing so. So if you guys do enjoy today's episode, do me a favor, hit that like button down below and subscribe. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and hop straight into this episode of Insane Craft. Okay, so hopping straight into today's episode of Insane Craft, we're picking up straight where we left off from the last episode, where we got ourselves this very own lost infinity stone of retro inspection. So it looks like our efforts paid off in the last episode because now we have this which we can go ahead and use to craft a contained gem of retrospection which then we can go ahead and use to craft the head collector. And again, I want to see how powerful this head collector really is. Now to actually power this thing, we also need to make these things called power drives and each power drive powers this thing by one. Let's go ahead and uh, start the process that we're going to need to create this bad boy. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and make here is the contained gem which means we need to get ourselves some deviant shulker shells along with a master forged ingot which is superheated ingots which we have a few of and celestial iron so time to go mine in real quick and get ourselves a little bit more celestial iron because i don't think we already have any of that so we have a small t chance to get celestial iron i think each time we mine it so i get i guess it's time to go on a mining trip this 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 should be fun okay so i wasn't recording because i was actually unsure because we got so much iron and we didn't get any but we can just get it from, from mining iron ore. So what I've been doing is just breaking this and replacing it. And I, I just got our very first celestial iron. So I think this might be an infinite way to get it. You just need to like, I guess, grind it out, place down more iron. Let's see if we can get another one real quick. Five minutes later. Okay, okay, okay. So I think I have enough of everything we need now here. Let's go ahead and throw all of the stuff that we got inside here. Let's go ahead and make... Wait, no, we, we need to go get the shulker shells now. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and get the shulker shells real quick. Hello there, Mr. Deviant Shulker. Die. Can we find any more while we're here? I guess there were literally normal shulkers right at the spawn there. If I just deviate them with my rod of deviation, that could probably work. Um, it doesn't seem to be working. Okay, well, I guess we do only need two. So here, let's just hop back through our portal and use what we have. So we'll make a bunch of these. How many of these can we make? Okay, well, we only need two for now. So we'll just have that for now. And now if we go to this to this, we can get ourselves a contained gem of retrospection. So the next thing we're going to need to make here is a scorch pipe. Do I have? No, I need another gas tank. Okay, but we know how to get those. That should be pretty easy. Do I need anything else? Oh, okay. So we need electrified quartz, a deviant slime ball. Okay. A mechanical power cell. Let me get some more celestial iron. Also get this smaller and gas tier. And then we'll figure out how to get electrified quartz and a deviant slime ball after we get the other stuff sorted. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. Okay, so we have our smoldering gas here now, along with a little bit of extra celestial iron. Now, we should be able to go ahead and make the scorch pipe like this. There we go. We got ourselves a scorch pipe. And then we need to make ourselves a mechanical power cell, just like that. And now the last two things we need here is electrified quartz created when a deviant creeper explodes on a quartz ore. Okay. And a deviant slime ball, which I'm guessing is just a deviated slime. I wonder if we could just deviate this normal creeper here. It worked. It worked. Okay, we can de just deviate the normal creeper and then... And we got the other We got the other six. Okay, okay, okay. We got 13. That should be enough, I think. I think that should be enough. You saw the last piece of the puzzle. Let me just go ahead and do that to you. What the heck is this guy doing? Oh, just kill you. Just kill you and take your slime ball. That's all, that's all I needed. So that's all I need is just, just your deviant slime ball and that. Now I'm out of here. Goodbye. Okay, well, I think that is everything we need. So if I go ahead and... Click on this here. There we go. We have the dual power assembly now. And now can we go ahead and put this all together? Oh no, we just need two of these. Okay, let's get two of those. Can we actually make the head collector now? <gasps> let's go. We have ourselves the head collector. Oh my goodness. This thing looks menacing. I'm very excited to test this thing out because... I have high hopes for it. I have high hopes for it. But now here, if we go ahead and right click on it, you guys can see the current charge is at 0% and we can put four things in there at a time. And those things that need to be put in there is these power drives. So we have electrified quartz. We need master charged redstone, which we need a deviant enderman to vanish from redstone ore. And then we also need a reflective shard, which we get from mirror zombies. So there's a, there's a, there's a lot to do here. So here, let me, let, me, let me go ahead and figure this out real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the, oh, I, I think it's called the, yeah, the ghostly redstone formed when a deviant enderman vanish is on redstone ore. So I grab myself some redstone ore. The normal way that Edmund work is if you try and shoot them with a bow. Like, for example, if I try and shoot... Oh, I, well, if you hit them with a bow, it won't hit them like that. It will actually just teleport them, like, away. So my idea is if a deviant Edmund works the same, we just need to get that to stand on the redstone ore, shoot him with a bow, and we should be able to get ourselves some glow, ghostly redstone pretty easily. So let's go ahead and set this redstone up, and we should have some ghostly redstone in no time. Let's get him here. And let's go ahead and deviate this guy. And now if we shoot him with the bow, I wonder if... Okay, he doesn't teleport away. Okay, so we need to... Oh, 
Where'd you? No, so come back. Stand right on top of that redstone. Yes. Okay. Okay. We got ourselves our first piece of ghostly redstone. Okay. Nice. Now if we could just get him to do that a few more times, we should have everything we need in no time. Five minutes later. Okay. Well, right now we have nine, so that should be good enough for now. Let's head home. If we do need more, we can always just go back to that spot. But I'm pretty certain that now we can go ahead and make some of this master charged redstone nice now the last thing we need to get here i think is the reflective shards so like i said we get this from mirror zombies but to get mirror zombies we just go ahead and make this crystallized gel and like i said we needed that living slime from the previous episode so that's very very useful and i think we just put that with celestial and we can get ourselves some of these really really nice crystallized gel balls why hello there mr zombie let me just go ahead and Oh my goodness, you have something on your face there, man. Just teleport like right here. Oh, oh my goodness. I teleported and hit him and he just broke into a reflective shard. Very nice. Let's try and find ourselves another zombie. Let's turn into a mirror zombie because these things are kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I guess actually we don't even really need another one. So I've come back up and now let's just go ahead and make the ammo. So I think if I go ahead and click this, click this, we have ourselves a power drive. And now I would need to get more redstone and kill another crystallized zombie to have another charge. But if I put this in here, are you serious? It looks like we need four power drives for one charge. Give me a second. I need to go ahead and uh, get a lot more resources. This is this is going to be a trouble. Okay, well, it looks like once you actually get into the room of this, these things aren't too hard to get. It's just kind of grindy. But we managed to get 10 in total. So that means we should be able to go ahead and power this thing up twice. So there we go. 10% right now. If I put four more in, 20%, that means we have a current charge of two, so we get two attempts at whatever we want. And I think we all know who I'm gonna go ahead and try this out on first. Let's go ahead and find Mr. Sunday. Mr. Flea! Oh no, not that armor again. Come a little bit closer. <laughs> You're terrified! No, I Come know what happened. Come a little bit closer. No, 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 no. I know what happened last time I got closer, and it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't good one bit. It, was, it wasn't good at all, okay? Uh, how are you gonna run away? Why have you slowed you, me down? How are you gonna, Ian, how are you gonna Ian, run away, Henry? Ian, how are you Ian, stay, away, Ian, stay away from me. I, I, do you want me to use this on you? Are you sure you want me to use this on you? Do you see what this is? What is this it? This is the brand new infinity weapon. The head collector axe. <laughs> what does that do? Let me go ahead and show you. <gasps> Wait. Wait, what is do, that? Do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? You? <laughs> it looks like a, a Steve head. Okay, well, hey, let me go ahead and put it on. Do you know what it is now? It's a Steve head. <laughs> it's not a Steve head, Ian. It is your head. And I'm pretty sure with this on my head, it tried to try to hurt me. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, no. Okay. Oh, immunity charges are running out. Immunity charges are running out. But Ian, as as long as I'm wearing your head, I'm immune to you. But my charges are running out. No, 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 no. I'm on wait, four. you have charges Ian, on that Ian, head? Ian, Ian, it's a two. <laughs> it's a one. Oh, 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 oh no. Where I have one more go, charge. Henry? I have one more charge. I have one more charge. I have one more charge. Come on. Okay. Where put that on. Go, put Henry? this on. I'm immune again. I'm immune again. I'm again. Okay. Oh, what happens if I hit you with my sword? Oh, I'm, where are you I'm going? gone. I'm gone. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, Ian, Ian, no, it's running out. My immunity, it's running out. No. <laughs> Ian, my immunity. Oh, my God. Never okay. use my head against me. I don't yeah, know. All I'm what saying is, mean? you better not go on the AFK, AFK on the server ever again. All I need to do is charge up my axe with more charge. Just hit you a couple times. You never know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll start a Sunday head shop where I just sell your head to all of the other members of Insane Craft. Okay, well, well, it works. I need to charge it up more. But if I hit Ian with my axe, I can get a head. I guess that works on anyone. If I hit anyone with the axe, I can take their head and use it to become immune to them. So this is my very first step to become stronger and stronger the server. And like I said, I plan to collect a lot of his head that I can just sell on the server and then make everyone immune to study. It's going to be perfect. It's going to go perfectly. There's nothing that could go wrong, I hope.